Well, as promised, I'm going ahead and give you a video in regards to the opportunities that uh, I'm seeing right now in uh, the little town of San Marcos. It's the fastest growing small city in the nation. Uh, just over 50,000 uh, residents right now. Smack dab in between the middle of San Antonio and Austin, Texas in the uh, San, uh, San Antonio Austin corridor, they call it, because it's on the I-35 corridor. And so I've uh, cherry picked this area and this property for a number of reasons. Um, number one is that there is a lack of supply of homes in the area. And um, and it's also the fastest growing area in the nation. So uh, supply and demand is going to st uh, state that rents are going to go up and prices are going to go up. And uh, so I'm very bullish on this area. Austin's already gotten very, very pricey. So it's hard to make numbers work, especially in investment property. We have a real, real shortage of investment properties in Austin that make any sense. San Antonio uh, is also uh, has, uh, is, is a much more sprawling city and is much bigger and does, is not uh, as economically, economically charged as the uh, Austin area. So, but in between the two is we have San Marcos, uh, according to the Census Bureau, the fastest growing um, small city in the nation. And uh, what the, the, Opportunities here are the fact that there's not enough housing in the area. Uh, you have Texas State University right here, and Texas State University is uh, the fourth largest university in uh, state university in Texas, uh, with uh, 37,000 students and about a, half that as much in employees. Uh, working there in the San, uh, the, uh, the Texas State University, the San Marcos area. So there's a huge hub. It's a state university, so it's not going anywhere. It's re pretty much recession proof. Um, my son's going to be going to Texas State University, and we're looking at buying a property there uh, for him so he can have a place to, to live in, rent a uh, couple, uh, a room or so out to some other people and become a real estate investor as well as go uh, to college. So there's a couple other things. I just got back from uh, San Marcos uh, here at the at the Embassy Suites, which is the um, uh, is the convention center for San Marcos. And they had just reported that just behind the Embassy Suites here that they're going to be building an Amazon fulfillment uh, center of 855,000 square feet, a thousand employees. And this is all happening right now. And uh, on one of my other videos, you can see that they're actually building, they're grinding up the roads right now. Their bulldozers are out clearing the land and they are building an Amazon uh, fulfillment center here once again on this land that's just behind the convention center. So I'm really excited about that. And there's also, you know, there's medical, there's a lot of other businesses uh, in this area. But what's neat about this is it's only halfway in between Austin and San Antonio. So it's about, without traffic, 20 minutes to downtown Austin. Without traffic, it's about 30 minutes to uh, downtown San Antonio, believe it or not. So, uh, and there's also, without getting too much detail, there's recreational areas that are incredible, like Canyon Lake out here. Um, and New Braunfels, uh, which is a German um, destination town here where they have like Schlitterbahn, the largest water park in the nation. Uh, so, so there's a lot of water activities and things like this. And one more thing that's really a, a big deal is the San Marcos um, Outlet Mall. It's a more, over 1 million square feet, 1.2 million square feet actually of retail uh, and uh, for you know, every possible shop that you could imagine. Uh, and it's a Tanger outlet mall. So between the outlet mall and retail, the Amazon Fulfillment Center that's going in right here and the uh, other, the Texas State University, um, there is a huge amount of opportunity 
for um, for rental properties. They actually have they have a shortage of rental properties. So our rents are high. It's about one percent of the value of the property per month is what you're going to be getting for your rent. So our target area right now uh, is the most affordable, uh, least expensive homes in a much nicer community. In other words, we're focusing on this area here. I have a great relationship with uh, Pace Setter Homes and they are a, a volume builder who are building in Blanco Vista, which is right off the Blanco River. And if you take a look, we'll come back to the 10,000 foot view again. You can see it's just a few miles from San Antonio or San Marcos proper. Um, and Texas State University. So far enough away that you're not actually in the, uh, the school zone, which can be a problem with rentals because kids can be pretty hard on properties in the rental zone though. Um, but far, close enough for anybody to uh, commute to work 10 minutes uh, if they work at the college or if you're a student to also commute and that's kind of what I'm looking at even for my own son uh, as he uh, were you know the homes there start from from 160,000 to and go on up uh, over 400,000 but we are focusing in that low end uh, recession proof rental property uh, right here in the Blanco Vista area the area that uh, they're building in right now is right here and on my other video that you may see um, this whole area is actually being built but as far as the le lesser ex expensive homes uh, right here is where they're building right at the entrance of the community which is great so it's uh, got a lot to offer it's got a um, huge park out here um, as well as a uh, church and a huge water water park uh, uh, community center right there in the middle of the community when you take a look at where its location is in the San Antonio Austin corridor back in the 10,000 10, foot view again you could be once again you can have a family where somebody commutes to San Antonio you have somebody commutes to Austin um, they there's a lot of opportunity here so uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the builder itself here. Oh, I had this article. I had to bring this up. Uh, this article right here is the uh, talking about this was just um, put out by Bizwire um, August 20th of this year. It's a thousand full time positions at its new fulfillment center here in Central Texas. When I showed this to my wife, she said, there's no, there's no question that we're going to invest in this area uh, for rental property. And I already have. Many of my clients have already bought investment properties here. I'm buying property close by here as well. But we're also going to focus a lot more of our investment dollars in this area. Right here, it's uh, 855,000 square feet um, with 1,000 employees so you can dig that uh, article up on bizwire and read it for yourself but this to me says that if one of the smartest and largest organizations in the world if a retail is investing in the san marcos uh market then i have to take i have to I have to take attention to that and these people need a place to live and there's not enough housing as it is so there's going to be an amazing opportunity there now on a side note, as far as Amazon, just 15 miles to the south in a little uh, town called Schertz, um, Texas, which is northeast of San Antonio on the corridor. Let's bring it back here and I'll show you here. Um, it, Amazon is building a, has, has already built a 1.2 million square foot fulfillment center right here. This building right here is 1.2 million square feet of Amazon fulfillment already has a thousand employees. So uh, we're bullish on this area as well as far as investing. 
um, because between the two, if you can think about one of the most uh, incredible uh, research organizations that you could imagine, no one's going to build one uh, of their capacity 1.2 million square feet and within 20 miles build another 800 thousand 855 thousand square foot facility right here in the town of San Marcos that they know that this area is going to be is going to have a huge economic um, uh, be able to serve their clients and be able to be able to make a profit so once again we're uh, focusing on pay setter homes here because it's the least expensive new homes in the area in a master plan uh, community Here's our builder here. I've sold, oh gosh, dozens of Paysetter homes. They got a great quality of build, especially in the low end. Uh, most of the stuff they build is 250 to 400, including in this community here in, um, in, in San Marcos. Um, as you can see here, they range from 210s on up to um, 330s. And of course that goes on up over to 400,000. Uh, great quality builder. Uh, the homes that are in Blanco Vista are going to have granite countertops, um, hard, uh, tile, hard tile in all the wet areas. So there will be no reason for you to, have to ever have to worry about um, replacing countertops or, or, or tile uh, or flooring. And that's a great thing for an investor as far as the, um, as far as the capital improvements. You don't have to worry so much about having to replace those things uh, most a lot of investors in the low end you know they end up buying stuff that has vinyl and laminate eventually having to change it out uh and, and over time because they wear out but granite's pretty solid it's not going to go away and uh neither is the tile floors so uh, i'm really um i like their finish out i like their cabinets they usually come all dark they, they really finish them out and in the area that we're looking at which is uh Blanco Vista Heritage Point. So for the Paysetter homes here, uh, what we're looking at is um, homes starting from about 1,000 square feet on up um, to about 1,400 square feet and uh, staying under the $200,000 mark. And I'll go into some of these in a second, but we'll also see that they go quickly up into the two, 220s, 240s, 260s, and, um, and, and higher. So, um, you know, there are opportunities to buy um, larger homes, but we're looking at investment properties. Most of my investors will stay in the lower end unless they want, you know, uh, a different quality of, of tenant, which they'll end up being in the more of the low 200s. But um, for, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the lower end because I've never seen anybody have a problem with the lower end in a higher end community. Uh, when it comes to a brand new area that's all uh, that that's a master plan community, uh, and the rents the rents are higher compared to the value of the property um, when you're when you've got lower lower price point. So that's where we're going to stick with right now. And uh, so your your bottom line home is the Mason plan, and it's a you know, it's basically a thousand square foot and you can, it's about 160,000 and you can, um, uh, you're probably going to be getting around $1,500 a month rent for that, for that property. Uh, from what the on-site agent who's uh, very experienced would say that the best plan right now is this two-story plan called the Andrews plan. And uh, it is a uh, base price about 176,000. Of course, there's going to be higher prices as you go, uh, as they, you know, with the upgrades. In this community, they've already spec'd out all of the lots. So there's not going to be any, um, there's not going to be any, you know, to be built. In other words, you're not going to be able to pick out your colors and pick out this. They're just building them. They, they've got such a demand that they're just building them as they go. So. This particular plan is a very popular plan. Um, they're all really good. I've, I've reviewed all of these plans and you're welcome to go to the, the, the website here and look at them yourself. I, I really um, don't think there's a, a bad plan in the bunch. And so um, I'm gonna really just go back now into the actual um, price points of these homes 
and uh, on a very lower end we have uh, a Smith plant at 173 1100 square feet 173 we have a, a Mason plant at 1016 square feet for 168 uh, if you're looking at another Smith plant 1100 square foot three bedroom two bath 175 and but if you want to get with the more popular plan that everybody seems to love is going to be the Andrews plan at 195 and let's see if there's any others here another Smith at 173 and we uh, this was done actually yesterday um, and that's in September of 1st of 2015 this is the uh, the way they the, built, the community is being built out right now. And so these plans right in here are available. These plans that are X'd out uh, with the blue highlighter are already sold. So um, so we have some still have some opportunities. And in the other video that I have, I actually drive this street so you can actually see them. And um, they're all under construction from anywhere from slab stage to already having framing up, but not much more than that. Um, nothing that's actually 100% complete. Um, the the surrounding area here is going to be the homes that are in the 220s to 250s. These are um, larger lots, larger homes. So you've got this kind of this really unique opportunity to buy in a, in a small, small uh, home in a community that's surrounded by larger homes. So it's going to be support your value in the long run. So I'm uh, excited about that. And um, so anyways, this is a great opportunity to get something under 200,000 and lots of opportunities. As you can see, they're going pretty quick. I was just there two weeks ago when I did my first uh, run through uh, uh, recently and all these were available. The blue that you see here is now sold. That, that happened in the last couple of weeks. So you can see things are moving pretty quick. So you expect about a little bit just under one percent per month of the value of the home which is going to give you a positive cash flow even with just 20 percent down 25 percent down definite and have a couple hundred dollars a month positive cash flow and uh, if you put it on a 15-year loan it'll, uh, it'll probably break even on a 15-year loan and in 15 years it'll be paid off and the history of the Austin, San Marcos, San Antonio area is that homes double in value every 15 years. So if you think about that, you're, if you put it on a 15-year loan and your child is born in today, in 15 years, that home will be paid off. It'll be worth double the value. Uh, so if you're paying $175,000, that home should be worth uh, 350,000 in 15 years and it'll be paid off by the tenants the whole time you'll now have $350,000 that you could use for your child's education it's one of the techniques that a lot of people are uh, are doing to fund their child's education simply buy a single family home in this kind of price point and pay it off over 15 years and you are uh, now have all of your children's education paid for just by that one house uh, but there's other people who are more uh, more assertive and aggressive on their investment strategy and they go for 10 homes in 10 years and in 20 years pay them off and that's pretty much a retirement uh, financial freedom strategy that I've taught for many many years so Anyways, uh, enough, enough about the philosophy. This is a good opportunity. I've been doing this for 33 years, and this is an area where I'm investing in, investigating to invest in, uh, even for my own son, who will be willing to go to college just around the corner from here, and uh, also have an investment property for my own portfolio. Even if he's decided to become an investor too, that would be a great idea. So. Uh, talk to you soon. Give me a call, 512-423-5626. You've got my name. You've got my number. This is Ken Renner, real estate expert in Austin, Texas. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.